7 Nightly News with David Johnston and Anne Fullwood. The outside pass got his 11th cup. Hail the Cup's King. A stunning coup as Bart does it again in the great race. And a bumper crowd joins the party as Melbourne celebrates racing's day of days. Good evening. The racing world is paying homage tonight. King Bart making it cup number 11. And how appropriate. The master trainer with the Midas touch winning the last cup of the 1900s with seven-year-old Rogan Josh, a horse he only started training four months ago. Jim Wilson reports on Bart's Cup triumph, witnessed by the biggest crowd in 50 years. There was plenty of interest in pre-race favourite Sky Heights stall, while Tie the Knot had some late support in the betting ring. A subtle nod of approval from the King to Rogan Josh in the mounting yard was overwhelming endorsement that this seven-year-old from the West was the real deal. And what a backdrop for the last cup of the century. jumped away well down on the inside. Yovana's pace jumped away fairly. Further out on the track, Rogan Josh began nicely and so too did Drew. Second coming, Zaza Bell. The message going forward in the early part of the race. And they were followed by Central Park. He's right off the track. Tie the knots about middle of the field and Zempuan is going up towards the leaders with Lahar as they race. For you as soon as we One can. of the roughest cups in right. recent history. Friedman. Jockey Grant Cooksley lucky to escape with only minor concussion after being thrown from Abel Master. And there was more interference in the dying stages. Rogan Josh, down on the inside was the warrior. It's Central Park and Rogan Josh. Rogan Josh, the outside part's got his 11th cup. Rogan Josh has won the cup. John Rogan Marshall. Josh managed to keep out of trouble, but Jimmy Cassidy didn't. Nearly thrown from the hind, but you could take nothing away from connections of the winner and the king himself, Bart Cummings, with cup number 11. In the Gelding's hometown of Capel in Western Australia, a giant-sized party was underway. Celebrations too for veteran jockey John Marshall. It's every jockey's dream to finally do it. It hasn't sunk in, but I know it's building. And a rare show of emotion from Australia's master trainer. Well done. Oh, well, yeah. Yes, you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was great. You've yeah. become used to this feeling over the years? Oh, yeah, but you're still, you're still hard to win, mate, I tell you. And no prouder man at Flemington oh, okay. than 75-year-old Tom Forrest, who bred Rogan Josh and is battling cancer. But that didn't stop him from leading the champ back to scale. Central Park was a half-length behind in second, with Zazabil and Lahar dead heating for third. Rabor finished last. The cup dividends and how your horse fared later in sport. The world's premier jockey, Frankie Dottori, steering Central Park to second in the cup. But earlier, he finally broke a five-year drought at Flemington with victory on Lazophany in the Great Western. Well, I've been waiting five years. Yes! Finally! Jim Wilson, 7 Nightly News.